I've been playing Fortnite a lot recently, but despite all my hard work, I haven't improved much. I needed a way to get better as fast as possible. And then it hit me. I can just buy controller accessories that turn me into Booga. Or at least make me a little bit better. Because most of my YouTube body goes into buying V-Box. I needed these accessories for cheap. And that's why we're getting them from TV. Gaming controller accessories. Wait, hold on. They have straight up fake control freaks for four bucks? I actually own these exact same control freaks. I think we might have to cop these and see how they compare. No way. Wait, do these work as trigger stops? They're only three bucks. I'm gonna get this right away. Bro, we get a grip for two bucks? Oh, you already know I'm copping this, dude. Pink and white? Okay, that looks kind of nice. Yeah, we're taking the pink and white, bro. Oh, boy. I found paddles for eight bucks. Wait, turbo function? What is this? Is this like macros or something? You already know we are copping this. They even have these things. I've actually never tried precision rings, but apparently they give you better aim. Only one way to find out right now let's order them and see how long it takes for them to come surprisingly it only took a week for everything to arrive and here's everything that we ordered now let's put these controller accessories to the test and see which ones actually make me crack i'll be trying them out one by one playing one game with each accessory before moving on to the next as we start my rank is platinum one and our goal is to rank up as much as possible hopefully even get the diamond but here's the twist instead of removing an accessory after i'm done trying it i'll keep it on the controller by the end of this experiment we'll have a controller low Loaded with five different accessories, creating possibly the best, cheapest pro controller of all time. Now, let's start everything off with these fake control freaks. Here, I have a real control freak. And as you guys can see, there's literally like no difference in them. Even the packaging is the exact same. So, I guess this product is just a one to one copy. Now, let's find out if it's any good. Yo, drop a like and subscribe if you're better than this guy at the game. What's up, bro? 100. Oh, let's go, baby. All I can say for now is that this thing feels nice. 100. Ooh, okay, so far it's giving us aimbot, I guess. 100. Oh, this guy's crazy, bro. Cool box. Let's go. Now, in the package, there was a high-rise and a mid-rise version. And I am currently using the mid-rise because that's what I normally use in my real control freak. But more of that later, let's try and get a couple more kills. Bro, that would have been the craziest snipe of my life. All right, dead. Guy inside this house. <gasps> oh, the reason why I prefer the low rise control freak over the high rise is because the high rise one makes you feel a little too smooth and slow, while the low rise or the mid rise version makes your joystick just perfectly a little taller, which gives you better aim and crosshair placement. So far, I have no complaints about this thing. It actually feels exactly like the real one. Yeah, hundred. Pullback. Dead. Dead. What was bro doing? There we go. Huh? Oh my god, bro. I was looking for him for a while. 100. Imagine I just died to him, bro. Bro, holy. Bro, why is he not building? Bro, what is this game? And let's move on to the next controller accessory and here we have it we have this controller grip it honestly looks so sick but will it actually improve my grip let's find out hello bro this one is definitely gonna take some time to get used to the wall dead So far, this grip feels alright. My one problem is that it's kind of on the way when I'm trying to press my L1 and R1. When it comes to the actual grip of the controller, I feel like it did improve a lot when I put this on. But I'm not too impressed yet. Because when my hands get sweaty, things might change. Oh my god, this is why we use control freaks, boys. Full box. GG's. Box. Let's go, baby. I see your feet, boy. Got him. There's another one, though. No, 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 no. Let's go, bro. I needed that. I'm not feeling the most confident on this right now, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It's because the grip makes the controller more bulkier. And like I said before, the grip is on the way when I'm trying to press certain buttons. All right, come on, bro. What? 
Bro, what? Next up, we have these trigger stops right here. And they sent me two different pairs. One is white, one is black. These are fairly easy to put on. You're just gonna snap them in place. Now I'm controlling, I broke one of them. Oh my god, what is this quality? Now I see why they send you two pairs. Yo, hold on. These actually feel pretty good. Wait, there's one big problem with this though. Oh my god, it's making my gun shoot automatically. I'm not sure I can play with this one. I can't aim. He's dead, and now we have another one. I have no mats. Bruh. I can't do anything. No, I almost even had him. How do you get these things off? Holy. Bro, I feel like I'm gonna break my controller because of this. Okay, after trying this out, I can definitely confirm these do not work like they're supposed to. Let's move on to the next. And the next product are these precision rings. The package came with three different hardnesses. And the harder the material is, the more the precision ring affects your gameplay. So we're gonna start from the softest one. You're supposed to just slide the precision ring under your joystick and then you have it correctly installed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or hate it. Let's see. I believe the whole purpose of these things is to make your aim better in games. Okay, I mean, my aim is definitely not bad with it. Oh, that's unlucky, bro. All right, buddy, it's time to go. Where's white? Let's go, bro. How's he not dead, bro? Jeez. I'm still not sure if I like this or not so far. One thing I like about it so far is that it makes your gameplay a little bit slower, which gives you more time to think, especially in fights. But because it makes you slower, it kind of makes you feel more like a bot. Let's keep on trying it out to see what I really think about it at the end. Surprise, bro. Bro, what is the scope? Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, okay, GG's, bro. So I just moved on to the middle hardest one. It just feels really hard. And as you guys can see, it made my sensitivity super slow in game. Who knows, though? Maybe this thing gives me aim, but... Huh? Nice play, bro. Yeah! How's he not dead? Bro, there we go. This thing is kind of growing on me, actually. I'm kind of starting to like it for some reason. Box. Oh, bro. Bro, no. 100, let's go. Oh my god, let's go. More? Let's go, bro. What the heck is going on? Oh, he's white. Oh, let's go, bro. He's <laughs> tight, man. More? 100? Dude, that just isn't my day, bro. But now it's time to try the hardest one over all of these. And if the last one made my sensitivity slow, then I don't even know what to call this sensitivity. Okay. My kills. Let's go. Go back. Let's go, bro. Honestly, there's just no way that this hardest one is good for Fortnite in any kind of way. It limits my movement way too much. I'm like way too slow with everything. Oh, yeah. Give me that. What? He's not dead? There we go. Yeah, I cannot edit. He's one HP, man. Of course, he runs and now we have a third party, bro. Oh, this is actually so hard. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. Out of all the precision rings, the first one, so the softest one, definitely felt the best. Next, we have this $8 controller paddle. You just plug it onto your controller just like this, and then you can set the paddles to whatever buttons you would like to. As you guys can see, I jump with this paddle right here. Now, I didn't buy this paddle for anything, because I play claw, and this paddle is kind of on the way. I would just keep on hitting it on accident all the time. I also had to remove this grip from the controller completely, because the paddles wouldn't fit in with the grip. But the final controller we have right here includes the control freaks, the precision rings, and these paddles. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to get a win right here. Give me that. Yes, oh my god. Honestly, for $8, these paddles feel like super crazy. When I first got them in my hands, I thought they were not even gonna work. What did he just shoot my ass with? No way you died to me, bro. You're so ass. Alright. No one HP, bro. Ooh, I say less, bro. Come here. Yeah, come here, bro. I got precision rings. GG's, buddy. Huh? Where's my going? Don't mind if I do. So far, paddle's still working perfectly. Oh, what? Where? Oh, you're trolling, bro. They don't got I get Zeus, bro. 
Yeah, oh my god. We now have tried all the attachments, and we did reach our goal, which was getting to diamond rank. Now, did I get any better with any of these attachments? Personally, I'm gonna say no. Comment down below what you think and what was your favorite. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support me further, use code DIMSWALL in the item shop.